Well, surprises uh, could remain in the G7 being held in Bari, Italy this year. On day one, the war in Ukraine dominated talks. Uh, Today, it will be China, leaders discussing the world's second largest economy, its trade relationship with the rest of the world, and its political relationship to Russia. Sharp focus will be how to protect industries in leaders' respective countries while trying to avoid an all-out trade war with Beijing. Our foreign editor, Philip Turrell, is covering this summit, and we can speak to him now. Hello to you, uh, Philip. What kind of measures are G7 leaders going to be discussing today? Well, hello there, William. Uh, This is going to be the second day of discussions, as you were saying, and a pretty complicated day, I think, for G7 leaders. What they want to do is to put forward a united approach to China, trying to convey the idea to the Chinese that it's not individual states that bear a grudge against Chinese Uh, subsidies for uh, green technology uh, or for electric vehicles, for example, but it's the whole of the G7. All all G7 nations are worried about the situation in China. They say they want a level playing field with the Chinese. Uh, In particular, Joe Biden's uh, accused the Chinese of uh, playing an unfair game with the rest of the world. So that is why they're uh, meeting today to try to hammer out some kind of an agreement. Now, what they're upset about is that China is subsidizing uh, the manufacture of uh, green uh, technology uh, uh, for vehicles, for example, also for solar panels, which are then going to uh, flood uh, Western markets, meaning that Western companies can't keep up with the cheaper imports coming from China. The United States has already announced it's going to up by 100 percent its taxes on uh, cars coming from China, electric vehicles coming from China. As for the European Union, they're trying to negotiate a 38 percent increase in uh, import duties on uh, green vehicles uh, from the Chinese. But I think what the message they're trying to convey to the Chinese is, look, uh, we need to get round the table and to sort this out because we can't accept that China is going to unfairly dominate that market. There are a couple of other issues, too. There are worries about minerals that are coming out of China that are being restricted particularly graphite, for example, which is used in modern technology. There's worries that uh, if China restricts the export of those minerals that uh, it will put in jeopardy the manufacture in other countries of uh, modern technology. And of course, Ukraine is also one of the issues on the agenda as far as China is concerned with con- worry. I think basically that China is continuing to support the Russian economy and also to send in uh, spare parts and drones to Russia, even though Uh, Volodymyr Zelensky at a press conference last night with Joe Biden said that he had received the word from the Chinese president on his honour that there would be no weapons sent to uh, the Russians to help them in the war in Ukraine. Uh, Volodymyr Zelensky saying, well, I hope he won't. We'll have to see what happens in the long run. Yeah, Philip, events like this often provide a a convenient reason for leaders to meet on the sidelines. Uh, French President Emmanuel Macron has some important bilateral discussions. What's on his agenda? Well, it's a busy day for the French president. He'll be flying out of uh, Italy tonight. Uh, he would be then going on to uh, the peace conference in Switzerland for Ukraine. So it's a busy time for the French uh, president who got here yesterday. Uh, later on today, he's going to meet, be meeting with Pope Francis, who is due to arrive here uh, in Puglia at about half past 12 local time. Uh, there will be a meeting this afternoon where the Pope is going to be taking part in a session on artificial intelligence. Now, that might seem quite a strange issue for the Pope to intervene on. But uh, Pope Francis has been quite outspoken on that issue, saying that he has been victim himself to artificial intelligence and also to images that were uh, falsely created uh, depicting him. And he wants a European uh, or a G7 uh, type of ruling concerning artificial intelligence. And that's why he's going to be pushing for that in the meeting this afternoon. And of course, talking uh, in bilateral, uh, bilateral head to head with the French President Emmanuel Macron, who will then be going on to meet with the Indian uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who's also here in Italy at the moment. Uh, there will be issues on artificial intelligence, on energy, on trade, and on India's role also uh, in the war in Ukraine. So a lot on the agenda today for the French President, for, for all of the Uh, G7 leaders who are here, who will all be meeting uh, in session uh, today with uh, other leaders outside of the G7 who've been invited to take part in these discussions.